In this video, I will be showing you my complete op amp circuit that I generated from this second order differential equation and this block diagram. Here's my circuit. This here is my differencing amplifier, and that is this right here. So you have a positive Vs and a minus 2V and a minus dv dt. These are your V1 and this is your V2 because the formula is V2 minus V1 so these are the V2 being subtracted. I'm sorry, the V1 being subtracted. So here we have our input Vs, just one volt, and the resistor values here um, are based on the formula where it's R1 over R2 so you actually keep them the same, just gives you a one. Same thing happens here and with these as well. That's why they're all 1K, they're all the same. So what you do to get your 2V and to get your dv dt, you are gonna have first an inverting amplifier of gain negative two. So what this will do is give you gain negative two, so that's a negative 2V. Now you have to run this through another inverting amplifier of gain negative one to give you positive 2V. That will be here. And when you subtract Vs minus a positive 2V, you'll get your minus 2V. Same thing with the dV dt. So this is representing your d squared, V dt squared and you send it through an integrator circuit. This is an integrator circuit, and the formula for that is VO is equal to negative one over RC times the integral of Vs. So here we have one millifarad and we have one kilo ohm. So those multiplied by each other is one. So you have a negative one on the outside, and then you have the integral of D squared V DT squared which gives you a negative dv dt, which is what you want. And you run that through an inverting amplifier of gain one, negative one, I'm sorry. So that actually changes your dv dt term to be positive, which you want here because you're subtracting. So Vs minus dv dt minus 2v, that's what's happening here. Now you run this through an integrator and that gets you the first integral. And as you can see, you go through another integrator circuit and that gives you a negative, another integral as well. Now, like I said, you have a negative and a negative. Those two negatives will give you a plot positive on the outside here. So here's your output. And I'm going to run a simulation to show you what it's going to look like. As you can see that this is an under damped signal. So it goes up and then down and then it converges and it will just stay this number forever. That would be your initial condition afterward. Here I solved the differential equation um, on a separate sheet of paper, but here I plugged this into MathCAD and graphed it, and you can see that the graph is exactly the pulse that comes out of my multi-sim.